Hey, better plot. Whoop, 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 whoop. GDI style. Hey, better plot. Whoop, 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 whoop. GDI style version 2. Hi, my name is Rafael Moura and welcome to another Blueback How To's. In this video, we're going to show you how to use the new classification groups and how to quickly create little curves. Let's have a look on the workflow. So here you have a patrol. So the first thing is let's create an investigation. As you know by now, I assume, if you go to insert, create new GDI investigation. So in here we're going to add what data we're going to plot. I'm interested in plotting data for wells since we're going to create little curves. And I'll select the folder of wells. I'll use the sea wells. OK. And which dimensions do I want to plot? A dimension is a log in this case, a potometer. So I want to bring the probability, also porosity. I have gamma. I'm going to use gamma as well. And let's hit the OK button. And let's check the results in our fantastic matrix window. So window, matrix window, toggle on our investigation. Here we have our data selected. We can give the color by wells. So I double click on my investigation. Go to data style. Select my folder of wells. And I say that I want them colored by children individually. Here we go. We can add a legend. Now we can see the wells here. And let's use a cross plot between our gamma and our porosity, maybe to define some lithologies. So here's our plot. I'll give the color by gamma. So I come to this icon here, color data by gamma. And if we double click in our investigation again, Let's add a classification first. So if you go to the tab classification groups, click on the sunburst, add new classification group. I have already created a template. So we'll select my template to use. Use Petrol template. Uh, here's my template, sweet faces. Now I have cheese, wine, and bread. So let's hit OK. And let's just start to create a few groups. So maybe I believe that this cluster of points here on the right hand side belongs to a certain rock. So I'll come to this icon, which is Add Selection. And let's say Add Classified Region. Let's use, for example, a rectangular selection. So mouse button one, hold the cursor, select it couple of points. I'll classify, I'll add the next classification. I'll use again a rectangle, but you're allowed to use a 1D filter or a freehand filter. So another rectangle in the middle. I believe those points here belong to another type of rock. And a third point, which is going to be this one. And let's just say this is the background, so it includes all those points here. Good. So what I'm going to do first is I select one of the boxes and I say mouse button 3, classify region, assign classification, as classification group. I believe this belongs to cheese. The second group belongs... I'll do the same, mouse button 3, aside classification, and this is going to be my wine. And everything else I'm going to classify as bread. So mouse button 3, assign classification, assign group, this is bread. If I double click in my investigation again, I'll see that under the classification groups, under the selections, you can change the priority of the group. So if I change now, if I put the bread on top and hit apply, everything turns 
into the bread. If I bring bread as the lowest priority, then it becomes my background. I hit apply again. Now I have bread and an overlap regions, whatever has highest priority will be kept. So if I click in one of the data points anywhere, mouse button three and say folder one, and I want to save this classification. So I'll save, classifi uh, save classified well logs. This is okay. Now let's open a well section window. I have one open here. I'm displaying my sea wall, my sea wells, and let's bring the logs we've used: so permeability, porosity, gamma. And since we added the classification on the bottom of it, we have the classification here. For each well, it created a classification. So as we can see, it's creating the bread, and in the zones where I had the point, this is my cheese and also my wine very quick way for you to create little logs so i hope you enjoyed this presentation this video if you have further questions about the gdi or any of our tools please contact our support channel or contact us directly through sales at blueback thanks bye